That's what I'm saying. If he if he comes One, in, he's two, five. Hey y'all. I don't see nobody yet. You gotta tell me because I can't see on my phone. We got one. When y'all come on, say hello. I know we're late. I apologize. We're coming. It was Rosanna's fault. She's been talking. And we ain't been able to get nothing done. But we're ready now. <laughs> okay. So today, everything we're doing, we're going to be using all Blingasm products. The glitter. Rosanna, what's the number on this? That one is the FC321. All right. The famous FC321. It's the FC321. This stuff is Beautiful. Can this be seen? I can't see. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to set your phone over here so I can see too. More stuff like right there. Mine's buffering. There it goes. There it goes. It had ketchup with us. All right. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm gonna keep going so y'all don't. We, we're having technical difficulties <laughs> here. Um, this stuff is gorgeous. This is the cup I did. This is Rosanna's. You can see a difference in it because mine had a powder coat on it and I didn't know that I still needed to paint it glossy. Hers, however, is gorgeous. She painted it. Same glitter. And also, if you put this on a black cup, it completely changes colors. This stuff is amazing. Okay, so we're using FC321. We are using Blingasm Jacquard Pinata Alcohol Inks. Uh, Blingasm Tattoo Paper. Yep, Blingasm Tattoo Paper. And we are doing a autism cup today. We're going to put the inks on the bottom of our cups. We're going to put the image by it. But as we're dropping the ink, we're going to be spraying it with the air so that it blows up the, the side of the cup. They're really gorgeous. I've never done this on a real cup. I practiced with it and it came out really nice. So it's gonna kind of be new for both of us, but I did play with it. Rosanna has not. So, uh, <laughs> she's taking me out of my comfort zone, y'all. Yeah, we're going way out of everybody's comfort zone. <laughs> I do want to tell y'all that Blingasm is having a special deal on his water slide paper. Is, what did it say? 30 sheets. 30 sheets for $24.99. Free shipping. No code needed. Okay, now that's a good, good deal. You get 30 sheets of water slide paper. $24.99 zero shipping free shipping glitter glitter we have a code for glitter it's halo h o l o 20 20 percent off yes don't forget that that is on your glitter purchase it's now cool. his glitter comes in three and a half ounce size bags this stuff is so, so pretty. It's very high quality glitter. Uh, Rosina, if you don't mind, hand me those little things there. Is this the one we're using? No, no, no. Uh-uh. This is just some of them that I was testing. I don't even have the colors with me. White, y'all, white is a hard color to get a good white. This did not lose its sparkle. It's still very beautiful. And this is under epoxy. I will get you the numbers on all of the glitter. There's one. And I did a gold. That's the gold. Okay. So, again, I will get you the numbers on the glitter that I have. This one, if you go over into Blingasm uh, Facebook group, Rosanna's group, she did a 
tack it method with this color here. And this is the LB911A. Her cup came out so pretty. This is perfect for fall. So I'm gonna be making one of these as well and I will put it in my group so that y'all can see it wherever you happen to be in my group or Blingasm group. Y'all will be able to see this because it was beautiful. Also, one thing I'm excited about is, and I don't know how to say this brand, iZinc, and if it's not right, blame Rosanna. It's iZinc and it's called Glitter Paste. You can paint with this stuff. And I'm gonna show y'all in a tutorial. Is this even opened? One of them was. Well, it's open now. I opened it, y'all. I got it. You can do fabrics, hats, shirts, shoes. This stuff here is, the possibilities with this is endless, endless. When you do this on a shirt or clothing of any kind, normally if you paint on fabric, it kind of gets a little bit stiff. This does not get stiff. It stays soft. And to me, that's a big selling point for my customers. And I make sure I tell them. I show them right in front of them. I'll squeeze it and mash it up. And I tell them it stays soft. And I'm going to show you all later how to use this and, and some of it. I don't want to dump it out now. But it's awesome and fun. I love working with that stuff. So fun. You can use it on wood, cloth, everything. But we're going to have a tutorial on that later. Okay, so let me get the camera moved, turned down. I think I kind of went over everything. Rosanna has her uh, phone up so we can see questions. Martha says she can't hear me. Martha, 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 Martha. I am right back here. Gabriella, love you. Love you and Louie both. All right, I'm going to move the here, camera. Martha. Well, I'm going to see what she's got me going into today. Y'all pray for me. We could be fixing to mess up big time. Who knows? Y'all hold on. All right. I think I got it where you can see both turners. Okay, we're going to play. Um, <clears throat> All right, Rosanna, go ahead and put your cup on. Oh, I need to get a towel. How you got? Tell me how to work this, honey. Okay. She's using the spinet, and I'm using the new one from Hobby Lobby. I love this. Um, it's amazing. So, on the spinet, we are going to loosen this up. Henry, go ahead and tell them all that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'm okay. I just broke myself again. We're fighting, excuse us. We'll be through in a minute. I love this lady, y'all. Look, I just met her and we already fighting. I have found a friend for life. Okay, so that What are you one, doing? I am tightening it up so the cup is on there and that's how you do it. Okay. Now there. let me put mine on here. Y'all, we'll, we'll get it in just a second. This is what's so fun about making videos, though. Rosanna loves I, her turner, and she won't say anything about it because she she did a live the other day showing off her new turner. She's very proud of it. She loves it. And as some of y'all know, I do make turners and sell them. I do the cup cradles, the drying racks, all of that stuff. She did not know it because I don't advertise it a lot in the group and she felt bad. So now she's not wanting to say too much. This is her new turner that she loves. She got it on sale at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna let her tell you about it. Kathy, go ahead, please. I do love this. I love it versus the spinet and it's easy, it's quiet and I just, I like it and that's it. I love it. 
you, girl. You, that is so sweet of you. No need for pray. Two beautiful, smart girls with, oh my God. With a lot of imagination. Gabriella is, I love it, ma'am. We're reading the comments, guys, over on Rosanna's phone, which does have a little bit of delay. Uh, we're filming on mine and reading comments on hers, so. Okay. Well, Gigi wanted to know how much this one was at Hobby Lobby. It's thirty four ninety nine. Talk up so they can and, hear you. Um, it's, it's a really good spinner, honestly. I mean, I've got both the spinet and this one. I prefer the spinet on my little cups. I love the way the spinet is faster than this one, and this one does have a reverse on it. I did know that when I done my first uh, tutorial on it, but it does have a reverse spin. It just doesn't have the speed that I'm looking for. God, don't worry about if anything gets on there. No, it's alcohol ink. And? Get you in them clips right up there so you don't get it on yours. It might make it look good. Well, it might. So, anyway, we're going to get the show on the road. We're going to try. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm going to try. She knows what she's doing. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Uh, oh, the straw fell off. Look, I told you my nails wasn't dry. Y'all, the other day when I did the live showing peach tree glitter, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Y'all know I keep my nails done. I've, I'm naked if they're not. And I was so embarrassed because they look so bad. I've been trying to get ready for this <laughs> and get everything cleaned and organized. And when Rosanna got here, I had one hand done the other hand wasn't and I told her it wasn't dry and look it ain't but that's all right that's all right we're gonna rock and roll with it girls uh Gigi that was regular price and no you cannot use a coupon on it and I'm probably gonna stand up because I'm short she's very short y'all and tiny oh my word she's tiny y'all I'm no. old y'all no she's not and she's gorgeous Oh, Lord. This cup I have showed y'all in my group before. I don't know if y'all can see. I have to give it just a second. I'm going to wait a minute and see if I'm holding this stuff at the right angle. I think I'm not because you're angled down. There you go. Oh, look, right. you could. This cup I showed y'all in my group the other day. All of this glitter that I have on here is Blingasm glitter. Okay, it's the striped pattern. I did it with the epoxy method, and I used all fall colors. And let me just tell y'all, this, these colors are amazing. They, every color on here is perfect. My plan for this cup is going to be a peekaboo and also a hydro dip. I've got some beautiful colors picked out. I'm gonna hydro dip it, and then I'm gonna pull the um, the peekaboo, the vinyl off, so that we can see the glitter underneath it. In my mind, this cup is gonna be gorgeous. I just have to execute it. I do wanna say something real quick. The only glitters that I use, unless it's a custom blend, is Blingasm. I use their glitter, so I see it every day. When I walked into Kathy's massively beautiful she shed setup, um, I seen this cup for the first time uh, without it being on the live when, where I saw it at the original first time. I was so impressed looking at this glitter by Blingasm that I was just in awe. It and, is beautiful, y'all. I mean, it is. I mean, it's absolutely stunning seeing it, seeing someone else use it versus myself. It is beautiful, beautiful glitter, and I cannot say that enough. It, it And it really, it, it's I know it doesn't come through the camera very well, um, but if you could see this. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's, the colors are just perfect. That sparkle. This is brown, and it does have a sparkle. That, that right there is yes. gorgeous. This color right here, and I have it. I will get it for y'all and let you know what all these colors are. I like this orange yellow and I love the champagne color right here just every one of them on here is perfect they match well 
the shine is unbelievable. It's gorgeous. But we we gonna move on. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is we take our paint, our inks, and again it is Jacquard Pinata. That's all we're using today. Uh, Blingasm does sell these. They are three forty nine, I think. Uh, it could be three forty nine, three ninety nine. I th I say three forty nine. Rosanna's saying three ninety nine. Anyway, they're a good price compared to everyone else. You've got a question. Uh, Gigi wants to know why we can't see your turners. Well, alrighty then. See. When we get done, Gigi, when I start to get to the end of it, remind me, and I will take the camera because they're right over there. Mine is a four cup turner. I'm in the process of making some singles so that I can move them around like this. Mine is mounted to the back of my work table so that I don't have to worry about it tipping over. It was the first one that we made. So it was kind of experimental. It's over a year old. I do not have one problem with it. Not the first. But it is a four cup turner. And for what we're doing today, the portable ones are easier and my single ones are not completed yet. I will show you when we get through, I promise. Just remind me, because I'm old. No, she's not. Oh, Lord, here we go again. She's gorgeous. And tiny. <sighs> tiny. Okay. Now, did I told you about the ink? Again, Jacquard Pinata. I picked out a few colors because I was trying to match our autism setup that we're doing here. So, Rosanna, um, <laughs> how do I want to do it? Wish I'm going to get luck. a scratch. <laughs> I'm going to get a scratch piece of paper so that you can put dabs on uh -huh. and see what color it is before you put it on your cup. Okay. Pray for Keep me. Talking. Pray for me. <laughs> oh, you stop. <laughs> this is going to be fun, y'all. I'm so glad that I found out that she lives near my brothers down here in Pensacola. This, this is just so awesome for me right now. The next cup I'm going to do is going to be a breast cancer cup because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I do have this. I am going to have Blingasm do me a design if we can get it worked out and that will be what I put on my cup because I'm gonna use Blingasm glitter for that as well. It's gonna be white and pink, and we're gonna have some bling, some um, Blingasm bling, how about that? Maybe talk with Blingasm, get a little uh, package deal together where they can get that certain glitter and that certain design. Yeah, that's Designed a good idea. by Kathy for October Brent being Breast, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You may know someone that's fighting breast cancer or, or had it or whatever, and that would be a lovely and awesome gift to give to them. Yeah, both. I got to say, and, and I apologize, I'm getting a little cold chills. These two cups, the meaning behind them is just awesome. Autism awareness. I met my husband when we uh, used to square dance many years ago and there was a club that would come over and dance with us and we would go dance at their club and it was all all of these kids had autism in some kind of way they remembered every single move and there are a lot of moves in square dancing and you have to memorize them they knew these moves better than most of us that do not have an issue. And it was funny, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. They came over to my club and danced with us one time. And I had on my skirt with my petticoat and it was all frilly and pretty. They walked in, it was the first time I had ever seen them. Their colors 
matched my clothes perfectly. So they thought that I was part of their group. They hugged me, every single one of them. I had made friends like you would not believe. They do not know strangers. They do not know... Uh, they, they're not taught like we are. We are not raised racist. That is taught to us. These people do not know racism. They don't. They have the purest heart. So this cup has a lot of meaning for me, and so does breast cancer. So these two are going to be special. And then, then that's enough serious stuff. Let's get on with some fun. Yeah, I'm a crybaby. Oh, I am too. I'm that's why baby. I quit talking. Um, all right. I'm going to let her test her colors, pick out what she wants, and I'm going to get started and show her what well, we're going to do. Well, can I just follow your colors? Well, you might not like my colors. Well, I'm going to follow you. I know I want this color. Okay. See, she's going to follow me, but she wants that color. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's a beautiful color. It's pink. I know. Look at it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Now, our cans, we are using... The cans that you spray on your electronics to get the dust out of them, it's just compressed air. The only problem with it is if you spray it too much, the can will start freezing. So, when I was practicing, that was a challenge for me because my hand got really, really cold. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to go. All right. And y'all can see my cup? Yep. All I'm going to do... Let me do it this way, because I'm right-handed, so I want to hold the can in my right hand, and I'm going to put one drop right at the bottom and just give it a squirt. Okay. Y'all, okay. Rosanna's going to paint my shed. Okay. All right, you got it? I got it. Okay. Now, can I just turn this, or do I need to turn it I on? I will turn that one on. See, I just want to do that. Oh, that's fine then. Okay. okay. And you just want to move it around. Do we stay with that color or can I... Change colors. I mean, it's... separate. It doesn't have to be like close to it. No, you, can, you do what you want to do. It's your cup. Oh, man. All right. One dot. And spray it. That's it. Now, I like using a lot of colors because, again, it's autism. And that is that has a lot of colors in it. I hope we're not losing people. If I'm getting, if I'm boring you, let me know. I found my new crack. Ah. Oh my God, this is, I didn't realize it was this easy, Kathy. Yeah. Just go ahead and, and I know you're supposed to close them up, but we're going to do, I love teal. I'm going to do teal. All right. You put one drop down at the bottom. And spray it up the cup. That's it. This is so much fun. Oh, my grandkids can do this. Anybody can do this. Wow. Are you sure I can turn this? It's yes, not turning. Oh, it's not? No, how do I turn it on? There's a... Somewhere, somewhere. What? Um, there's In a In the knob. back? Uh-huh. No, it will take off with you. I'm just going to turn it around a little bit so I can get me to another spot. This is like, I like this. Here, hit it right there where you got your big drops. Oh, you don't want to have big drops too much. Girl, that stuff's dry. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do on. teal. And you do want to do the bottom, or I do. I like to do the bottom of my cups. And when you're doing this, it depends on how far up the cup you want this ink to go because remember if you we're going to put our autism symbol on it as well and if you do autism mom in vinyl or someone's name in vinyl you just want to leave room for that so i do like some of mine to go up the cup a little ways but not all of them you got a couple of questions ma'am okay oh, shoot what's fire. the question uh, thank you, Rebecca. Uh, Gigi wants to know, is there glitter in the cups already, on the cups? Yes. We used FC321, 
is the one that changes colors depending on the background that you've got on the cup. This stuff is gorgeous. Magical. As Rosanna says, this is my new crack. Yes, it is a magical glitter. Now, you don't have to use this color, of course, but I'm going to tell you, anything you put on this color matches it. Yes, see, like this, uh, what color is that? This that you're is using? teal. Okay, so the glitter is white. Now that looks teal. And if you look at her other colors, just like mine, where I used a light pink, now the glitter looks a light pink. Whatever color base you put that FC3, FC321 on, that is the color that your base is going to be. It is absolutely the best glitter. Oh my, wow. Y'all, for somebody that has never done this before, her cup is gorgeous. Look Can y'all see it? Look, it's beautiful. Girl, I got ink everywhere. It, alcohol takes oh. it up. That's the great thing with working with alcohol ink. If you get it on something, you come back with alcohol, clean it off. You're good to go. All right, so I'm going to put a little yellow. Oh, okay. Right, Santa, Look at excellent. that. I'm glad I'm out of that comfort zone. Wow. Now, a couple of things I do want to show y'all too. I'm going to take a minute and let Rosanna keep playing. Wow. Um, yesterday, I was experimenting with some of the inks. Blingasm does carry Tim Holtz pearl glitter. So I was playing with that and I mixed some of it with the pinata. And I was making some coasters. And I was trying to do something that I could do a new live on and, and a new technique. And I did these. Okay. Now this is the actually the bottom of the coaster. And if you look at it close, <clears throat> excuse me, it's 3D. If you look at it from the side, you can see the ink going through it. See right there where it's... Okay, so that's the that's the bottom side, and it looks 3D. This, however, is the side that I was dropping the ink on. This stuff is beautiful, beautiful. So if y'all want me to do a live and a tutorial on it, let me know. It's a lot of fun, and you can mix the Tim Holtz with the pinata. It works fine, but it's just like the cup that I showed y'all the tutorial on for the blooming ink. Same, same technique, same basic stuff. Rosanna's going to town and it's beautiful. I am liking this a lot. A, a, Turn it this way a little I bit so they can see. I wonder what it would be like if we put a decal. Okay, I'm not even going to give one of my secrets. Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's another life. That's yes. another trip to Florida, honey. Oh, I'm coming back. I got a birthday at the end of the month. I got to come back. All right. Rosanna's is gorgeous, y'all. Look at this. This white, when you go over these colors, oh my God. <laughs> I wish, when you put your, see how the... See how that FC321, and yes, alcohol ink is an ink, so naturally it's going to change it, but alcohol ink is a, it's actually see-through, in my opinion. I may be wrong. It is. But when you put these, uh, that FC321 in whatever color, that is the color that it is going to turn to. Don't forget See, your I bottom. can't get out of my... I like these colors. I, I got to put some of the other colors on here. Yeah, you need some blue. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, you want to try... I'll get the... Uh, I'll get the pearls. But I tried wow. the pearls. And it, it is a different effect. Uh, a different look, I should say. Not effect. Um, let me show you how they look. Again, y'all, this is all by Blingasm. Don't forget the code. Look how it makes that feathery, that that feathery look. 
I think she's learned something oh, she likes. Oh, I've never done this, ever, ever. I can't tell which one was. Well, you know what, we're gonna drop it like yep. it's hot. Okay. Now, the pearl, you've got to shake like crazy because it separates. It does have the BB in it. If y'all watched my video where I mix my paints and I drop the um, marble in it, this has a marble. And Our, you can hear it. Rondine wants to know uh, the name of the, the uh, this right here, if you want to hold it up. I use Ultra Duster, any kind you want. It doesn't make any difference on this. Um, I did it with this kind, this kind, and hold on, I got another one over here. This one works as well. Just go to Walmart or wherever, buy whatever is the cheapest. Also, you don't have to use this. If you have a small compressor, and your um, do me hickey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain went dead. Do me hickey, y'all. Y'all know what a do me hickey is? A do me hickey is next, what you would call it. Yeah, it's one of these. I get this one at Harbor Freight, and you can use a 20% coupon there as well. But I bought me a pretty purple one. Look at there. Uh, it's a spray gun. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was hard to remember. Oh. Anyway, these work as well. And you don't have to spend the money for this. You just don't put any um, paint in it. You're just using the air from the compressor. That is a neat idea. That is cool. Think it, yes. All right, so... If you happen to have one of those, use it. Do my hickey. Part. Yeah. If you have a do my hickey, use it. You got your do my hickey thing, just go ahead. <laughs> All right, look, I want to do a red. Wow. Y'all, Rosanna's having a blast. I am really, I can't wait for my grandbabies to do this with me now. Oh, kids would have so much fun with this. It's easy enough that they can do it. And like I said, if, if they get it on them, all you need is alcohol to remove it. Yes, Rachel. They're already glittered and epoxied and completely dry. And now we're just dropping inks on, which I've never done this. And um, just blasting them with, with air. She keeps that saying, wow, so wow. Good and it's so freaking easy. Who would have thunk it? Not me. Of course, this is not my idea, y'all. I did not come up with this technique. Um, and I apologize. There's very few videos showing how to do this on YouTube, and that's what made me think I need to do one. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that have never seen it done. And a lot that have. But I wanted to put it out there for y'all. Because it's so much fun. This white dries pretty quick. Um, the code for Blingasm Glitter is H-O-L-O-20. Miss Martha, would you post that for us? H-O-L-O-20. Uh, Gabrielle, Gabrielle, will you post it? Gabrielle, can you post it for us, please? I had to remind Rosanna that some of y'all still have that four-letter dirty word called work. <laughs> this is work. Yep, we working hard. She works hard for her money. Yeah, I don't get no money. <laughs> This teal is so pretty Isn't on this color. Pretty? I love the teal and the pink. Really, really pretty. Is your can freezing up over there yet? Oh yeah, but when I have a hot flash, oh my uh, God, it feels good. She crazy, y'all. All right, here. 
put your straw on this one if it gets too cold for you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try Senorita Magenta. I think that's what that is. You're welcome. Lene, that's how you say her name, Lene. It took me a minute. I hope y'all can see this stuff good. All right, I'm gonna leave open spaces for my... Rosanna, yours is beautiful. I'm just not liking that area right here. Put some white over it, or if you don't like it, you can put alcohol on it. Oh yeah. And wipe it off, but when you wipe it off... stain it. No, it shouldn't stain it, because we have epoxy on it. Yeah. But, will it? Um, I'm you can leave it like that. Okay, you can put white over it yeah, and right. change the color. That's what I'm going to do. You never mess up a cup. Oh, I have. Nah, you just got to do something else with it. That's all. Keep layering it. Yeah, see, that changed it a lot. Sure I like does. that. I love how fast this air dries the alcohol ink as well. I like that. Yeah, Rosanna's going to be doing a bunch of lives on this stuff. Oh, I can I see it coming. Like it. This, is, this is very, very sweet, y'all. And you can take this straw, it comes with a straw, so you can spray in a, di a direction. If you take it out, you have a larger hole here. I tried it. I did not like the way it did it. Um, it kind of was just like a dud if you do it that way. My granddaughter's here, y'all. It's Miss Brianna. Hi. Come here, baby. You'd love to do this. We gonna test it on a kid and see what happens. Put your book back down. I brought your paint back. Okay. Lacey, yes, you can control where the ink goes. If you watch Kathy, she's putting just a little drop and then she blows it. So yes, you can control it. If you want it to go further up the cup, add more and spray harder. And the new code for glitter is bling20. So I was already telling them wrong. <laughs> Look how that just does that with that white. I like that. <laughs> you want to try okay. it, baby? You want to shoot the, you want to shoot the stuff? <laughs> I'm serious. You want to shoot it? You can't be scared. You got Come to on. get out your comfort zone now. Oh my lord! Y'all listening Here. to her? Practice right, on my no, cup. No, do my cup, she baby. She can do mine. No, do mine. She will feel more comfortable doing mine. Okay. Now, I was gonna be your friend. She still she's she makes good friends. Y'all, Brianna is is my granddaughter. She's helped me in a lot of the videos. Y'all in my group are used to her reading the comments for me. All right, baby. Look, all you do. Is take your ink, don't squeeze it, hold it upside down, put one drop, pull the trigger. Okay. Got it? All right. That is a pretty color, that magenta. And don't worry about messing it up. Hold this in your right hand because you're right handed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Put your drop of ink right there. there All right, go. now spray. Look at that. How there. cool is that? Hit it again. Hit it again. The more you blow, see how, see how it runs up? I think I'm an expert now. <laughs> this is... Use the, any color like you want. I this a lot. Oh. Sit over there. Look at that hot pink. Look at the hot pink. Is that not beautiful? And put your drop right there. Spray. Spray it, girl. Spray it, girl. Hit over on that side. Ain't that pretty? Mm-hmm. See, anybody can do this, y'all. I like this. 
Where did you hear me mess up? Uh, Granny's smart. You know that. All right, hit it. Look how pretty that is. I don't think that right. somebody else likes this method mm -hmm. besides me. That's teal. You like teal. Put it right there where you got white. All right, shoot it, it, baby. Shoot it. There you go. Huh? Right there, hit that dot. Okay. Let's turn it around. That color right there is gorgeous. The yellow? No, that pink. Let. Whoa! Right there. All right, pick your color. Uh, See how they just uh, they just go together so well. Yellow. All right. Put your dot and hit it. Hit it. Spray it around. There you go. All right. Thank you, Joyce. Put it right on the edge so you can get some on the bottom too. Whatever color you want to use, just go for it. Is this red? That That's coral. Is coral. coral. Go. <laughs> Put your one right here on the edge and go. On the edge, baby. Hold it down close. There you go. Blow. All right, yay. Okay. All right, I think we're gonna go with it now. Rosanna, you got yours? I'm ready. Okay, now we're going to move. First, we're gonna put the lids on this ink so it don't dry up. Y'all bear with us just a second. Oh, this is a red. This is blue. And y'all, this is a lot of fun. And this one goes to this one. And this one goes to that one. Okay. I really like this. Rosanna's is gorgeous. No, it's not. It's okay. No, it's gorgeous. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, God. It's okay. Well, I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm to I'm get this down to, you'll see. I've got things already twisted in my head. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move to the tattoo paper. Now I'm going to be out of my comfort zone because I don't know how to do this. Yay! Huh. Um, do we have to cut it out or anything? No, ma'am. Okay, let me just shut up. She's going to tell me how to do it. Okay, Blingasm has tattoo paper. It's all the rage right now. Anybody that knows me and that has been with me for a while knows that I done uh, a video on this well over a year ago using Blingasm's tattoo paper because that was, you know, that's all I use. So now it's become all the hit and all the rage. The difference between tattoo paper and water slide paper is this has already been uh, printed. I have not sealed this unlike water slide paper. You do have to seal water slide paper. With tattoo, uh, tattoo paper, you do not. So you're gonna get a full sheet to print on, and then you're gonna get this sheet, which is the adhesive sheet for making it the tattoo paper. So, are you ready, ma'am? I are. Are you are? Okay, when we're doing this, and this goes for anybody, um, when you lift this sheet up here, this top sheet is going to be very, very tacky. You want your fingerprints just to stay at the corner of the sheet, not in the middle or anything like that. So what I'm going to suggest that you do, since it's not a full sheet, is we're just going to cut this out like so. So you don't cut around the image, just make it smaller. Correct. It's just like clear water slide paper but with an atom added awesomeness <laughs> no, Joyce, get, up, Joyce. get up correct okay lift your corner there I don't know if I can on my fingernails but I'm gonna try um, you got a picker somewhere yep hanging over there on my board oh I got it you got it okay keep just your fingers at the there you there we go 
Okay. Am I doing it right? That's fine. All right, stop. And then we're just gonna lay this right here. Now, when you do tattoo paper, you wanna start just in a corner. And then you wanna start getting all of the air out as you're going about it. You can use, a, what's some things called? A squeegee? Just, yes. Hold this, let me grab one. Remember, you don't wanna to touch the inside of this right here because that is where the sticky is and that is what's going to transfer your image. Okay, so you don't wanna to touch it, just the corner. I'm coming. All right, I got a big one and a little one and I got a poker. Oops, that's a hooker. Here. Oh. She's cussing. I'm going to get you all ready. What did I say about where your finger needed to be? Oh, Lord. At the tip. Okay, I got it by the tip. All right, start getting all your air out. It's really important to get the air out, and the reason that I'm saying this is because when you get those air pockets and you go to transfer it from the paper to the cup, the sticky will not be there because it's an air pocket and it cannot stick to the image itself. So it's very important, just like with water slide paper. With water, water slide paper, you have to get the air and the water out from behind it. If not, you're gonna have a huge problem on your hand, okay? The same with this. You want to get the air pockets out from behind it. And I'll show you a trick as to how you know that. Oh, she gonna show y'all. She gonna make me sit here and suffer. That's right. Hmm. Um, Joyce, you can get it from blingasm.com. Uh, Gabriella, will you post that link for me? And Lori, the base cup uh, on the glitter cup was just white. Use a white shiny. Mine was the powder coat, and it didn't turn out as pretty as hers. It's still beautiful. Don't get me wrong even like it is but with her she did spray paint it did you use a gloss mm -hmm. okay she used a gloss on hers a white gloss spray paint and hers is super shiny super <laughs> that is a new word super all right once you have your tattoo paper on there and i've always told you all the same with water slide paper lift it up and you want to angle it and you will be able to tell if there's any air pockets whatsoever up under there and there is not any air pockets so now you just want to trim your image there miss kathy i got this part <laughs> it's amazing and then you cut them in half one for you one for me i ain't sharing you've been mean Oh, come on now. I love what I'm doing. Okay. We've got to share the love. So do no, I no, need no, no, to no, trim no, around? Nope, 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 nope. 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 I guess that's a no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Okay. Keep your paper. Still a lot left. Just still has a lot of life left. Now, what we're going to do now is we are going to lift our corners. She's a cleaner as she works, y'all. Oh my God, this place is unreal. Sorry. We're going to pick up the clear uh, carrier sheet. And again, I'm not afraid to tr uh, touch the uh, clear sheet because now all of the tacky, and I'm gonna hold it by the corner, is on your image. So this is no longer tacky as it was before. Your turn, ma'am. It's all on the image. Okay, so now the bottom piece is what I don't want to touch this time. Correct. In other words, if you touch your image, you're going to leave your fingerprint there, and then you run the risk of uh, the image not going on the cup right. Okay. Y'all, this is so much easier than water slide, but I'm still a water slide freak. I'm sorry, but uh, that's just me. I'm, I'm a water slide freak. Okay. And just grab a corner. Yep. Got it. Get your cup. Where I'll put it. God, that 
That is such a beautiful color. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Look at that shine. Look at that. That glitter is just amazing. I love the yellow. Isn't that yellow You like pretty? the yellow? A, my favorite two colors are yellow and pink ever. Yellow and pink. Okay, I'm okay. going to angle mine. Are you? I think, yeah. Well, I'm going to angle mine too. I want mine to be just like yours. Well, I'm going with it. When I put my tattoo paper, I use two corners and I kind of bend it a little bit, just a little, and I press it in the middle with my thumb and then I take the other hand and start pressing down and then I will take my fingers and run no, up and down. No, ma'am, just like so. And I'm gonna press it completely down. All right, let me get mine pressed down. Now. Once you lay it on that cup, you cannot adjust it. You cannot move it. You cannot nothing. So wherever you want this, that is where it has to stay. Okay. I think Joyce asked a question. Yes, that is something that I did forget to tell you guys. Anytime you work with an image with tattoo paper, you have to mirror the image. And with Blingasm, it has all the instructions with it. It does tell you to always mirror the image. So when you get your tattoo paper, go ahead and make your little sticky note or put a note inside there to always mirror your image. You know how some of us put that on our Cricut or our cutting machine, a reminder to, to mirror it? This might be a good time to use that sticker. Yes. Okay, and once it's on there, it's there. It's not gonna budge. Okay. All right, now take you a napkin and your water. Now I'm just gonna really saturate this paper towel. I actually cut up little sponges and soak them in water. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna lay it on top of there, just like so. Another thing about tattoo paper, you can go straight in and epoxy, whereas water slide paper, I always tell new people, to let it sit um, before you epoxy. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more water on the top. Oh, I got mine soaked. No, that's fine, that's fine. And just and lift your paper towel up. The image is coming through, so it's seeing me. There you go. And I'm gonna just slightly tug at it for just a second. And if it starts sliding, then I'm just gonna slide it completely off. Oh, I love it. Is that not cute? Ah! Just take your fingers and see if it starts sliding. Yep, and just start sliding it off. Oh y'all, this is awesome. Look now, at when that. you put your, your epoxy on it, it's gonna shine it, it's gonna bring it back to life, and there you go. And do this. I did learn this. I just go over it just like so to make sure that there's not anything that I may be missing. And there you go. Joyce, this is this is cool. And like she said, we did not seal this like the water slide paper. So that part of it I love. This cup right here that I done, the 50 shades of gray. All of that is uh, tattoo paper. This whole cup is nothing but tattoo paper. Yeah, that's pretty. 50 shades. I like that. I'm still looking for them. I ain't found them yet. Huh? I'm telling on her. <laughs> I got dirt now. And there you go, Missy. That's it. That's all you do. And oh, oh dang, that was fun. Your tattoo, your epoxy will cover the whole thing. And bring it, bring all of this so, it'll shine. Nothing, you don't do nothing. You don't have to seal the nothing, cup or anything. No, nothing, nothing. Now, in this case, y'all, I probably would seal it not because of the tattoo Correct. paper, but because of the ink. Correct, I agree. You, you definitely want this ink to cure, like you do if you're doing the um, wood grain with the alcohol ink. So yes, I would seal it only because of the alcohol ink. You wanna make sure it's not gonna run and turn green on you. And for that, I use one specific seal.
color. If I'm using alcohol inks, I use the Karma Varnish by Krylon. I even write on it or wood grain. Um, and I do three light coats sit overnight okay I do reminders because a lot of times I go back and I'm looking at all the different kinds I got over there and I'm like yeah I forgot I don't forget because I got it wrote on there okay so that's what I use everybody's different that's just the one I like We could put smaller pieces on there. Yeah, you I can. Like I mean, this. whatever you want to do on it now at this point. I think what I'm going to do when I get home because. Oh, uh, uh, Carolyn said we can put we can put her name on the Fifty Shades of Grey. That's the second time she has told me that. Every time I've posted it, that's exactly what she said. Miss Carolyn, you need you need to be nice. Hey, Mary, Mary, glad you got the live, babes. This is super sweet, and like I said. Once you put this on, the epoxy on, that brings it right back to life, just like it did with these. Now, let me show y'all something as well. Y'all, this, this tattoo paper is, is the bomb. Wow. There you go. I'm taking all these home with me. These are all me right here. I have fluorescent. Now, these are HTV. Um, you can use HTV on a cup. I would not probably go close to the tattoo paper no. just cause, but any of these uh, neon colors match this cup perfectly. Wow. And that it, that yes, that is gorgeous. And the glitter that's on this cup next to these colors that's amazing. Oh, now I got to play. Hang on. I'm, I'm fixing to take these and I got to go home, y'all. Uh, Let's see if I put them up the shirt. She don't know how to get out of here. All right. Another little tip. Y'all know I like sharing my tips and tricks. When school starts, go to Dollar Tree. They have these, it's called Magic Cover Brights. It is made for books. It's the same thing as contact paper. You can run this through your Cricut or your cutting machine, peel the back off, and it is made out of vinyl. Okay, my fingernails haven't let me do it. Trust me, this comes off, I like that. this back, it's neon. They have beautiful colors. A dollar, right? Dollar Tree. So there's your inexpensive vinyl. Beautiful colors. Matches the inks. Whatever you want to do. So that's that's a neat idea. I that's like that. my little tip. These are gorgeous to go with this. That is very very nice. Wow. Okay. I'm glad I learned this technique, y'all. I'm really, really glad. I was nervous. I was nervous about what she was going to teach me today because anybody and everybody that knows me knows I only know water slide. I do try with other things, but I'm very critical on myself when it comes to that. Yes, she is. <laughs> but water slide has always, always for the past three years just been everything to me. So I'm glad that I did learn this. I like that. Uh, Brianna said that um, she thinks she's mean. I did not say that. You think I'm mean? No, I did not say that. Why? Don't yes, she did, yeah. Yes, she yes, did. did. No, she did not. She said she liked her and she thought she was nice. That's what she really said. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> See? All right, now, I promised y'all I would show, uh, who was it that was asking? Hey, Gina. Uh, we'll have to rewatch. Sitting and sneaking. Oh, yes. I'm telling on you. She's, she's in class and she's sneaking. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, yes, definitely go back and watch it because it's a lot of fun. But I want to show you a quick look. Joyce, you can use either the laser or the jet printer. It depends on which one you have at home or whatever printer that you do use. I use an inkjet. Uh, I don't care for a laser printer, but if that's what you have and that's what you like, then you need to use that. Um, I don't suggest that you use either or. Okay, if you have an inkjet, then yes. Just uh, inkjet works fine. That's that's all I use. Okay, I'm gonna try to get y'all over here to see over here, the Turner. Hang on. All right, these are the ones that we make. I have, this is a four cup turner here. Um, I use this one as our experimental one and I've learned what to do differently so that it looks, uh, not looks, but works better, performs better. Now I make these connectors a little bit longer so that it's easier to hold because when you take your, um, your football off, you need to be able to hold this. And that was one thing that, that we changed. This is a four cup. I have three dryer drying racks on it right here. You can take the football right from here, right to here and let it finish curing. So that's this one and I do have it mounted. It's, it's back. You can get it where, however you want it. If you don't want it mounted, that's fine. We can do that as well. If you do want it mounted, we put brackets on it so that all you have to do is little L brackets and you can attach it to whatever you want it to be. So, is there any more questions? I'm reading real quick. Y'all bear with me for a minute. I am in the waiting room for the chiropractor. So I will have to step away for a few minutes during my adjustment. Okay, cool. You can come back and rewatch it. Does anybody have any questions on anything we've done today? She loves the Hobby Lobby Turner. She loves it. I'll let her tell you about it because I really don't know that much about it. This is the first time I've used the spin it. And, I mean, all I did was turn it on long enough to... It's very level too. Um, it does speed. make a little noise, but turn it's full not. Speed. Okay, yeah, when you turn it up, it does make noise. Yeah. It sounds like it's working really, really hard. But if you're in a pinch, I could see where this would work. But it would not be yes, it's the not turner heavy, of my choice. No, it's not a heavy duty. For a heavy duty crafter. No, it's not. No. Nope. It is not. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know if y'all can still see. Yeah, I guess you can a little bit. Yeah, it's not for a okay. uh, a crafter that's got four or five, six cups going out. You want what Kathy has shown you that she makes. That is a heavy duty, sure enough, turner. Uh, the spinet would be something for your grandchildren, your teenage daughter, or someone new learning to do cuts and you can't afford uh, to go out right now and, and you know whatever that is what you want to do my opinion I would go with Kathy's honestly well you being really nice cause I love you she was asking about your one from Hobby Lobby oh I like it do it no. do it anyway <laughs> she likes it y'all She's and she does not want to say what she truly feels because she knows I sell them. But I heart friends. If you need an inexpensive turner, yeah. then yes, she loves hers. So now, go ahead and tell them about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a whip before I leave. Anyway, yes. Now, this one from Hobby Lobby versus the spinet. The spinet is nothing compared to this one. I love 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 you cannot even hear it uh turning you just there is no sound the only thing i do not like is the slow wouldn't you agree it is slow it is pretty slow 
I mean, that is slow. I, I and I don't want my epoxy to run off before. That's what I was going to say. That's the only thing I do not like. I wish they would tweak it and make it a little faster. But again, for $35, no, you cannot use a coupon on it. The spinet, you can use a coupon on it at Michael's. Joann's does not allow this on this one. But overall, as far as uh, being stable versus the spinet, um, this one, by all means, yes. Now, I love the foam on that. Is it I that? am going to look into getting some of that for the ones that I make. And it fits any size cup. Any I, size. Yeah, when you, when you showed it the first time, I was watching it immediately. Yes. I said, i got to find some of that. Yes. I do not have the little bolt that goes into this because I have always wanted to be able to take the rod off of my turner like everyone else and with the spinet, you know, well, you can't or whatever. So, oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, you sure you can. cannot. With this, you can. And I, so I don't have the little bolt here. But that foam, if you've got a big 32 ounce cup and you put that foam down at the bottom, it just totally balances it out. I mean, it's great. But anyway, um, Carolyn wants to know how much your turners are. Carolyn, if you don't mind, um, I'll PM you when we get through with this because it depends on how many drying racks you want and, and, you know, how many turners. So, yeah, I'll get with you, let you know some prices. I absolutely love mine. They're, Gosh, that's what I wish I had. They're individual switches for them because I, I don't want to have all four of them turning and wearing out if I'm just doing one cup to me that's just totally ridiculous why someone would wire them all together mine are wired separately um i have not had any trouble with the turners the motors nothing i do love it but i do need a couple that are independent that i can move around and that's my only drawback with having a four cup turner is even if it's not mounted to the wall, it's still going to be hard to move it around. I want to say this about Kathy's. Um, again, with hers, it's it's it looks like part of her craft room. Um, I like the way it actually fits in because you've got it painted. You can add designs. You can put vinyl on it. So it is like part of the furniture that is in here and it's not something that's in the way i like no, that no whereas the single ones like mine i have to literally put them away this i like the option that the top is also for a storage rack if i need for glitter yep or whatever i do like that i like that I, that's what i want is a setup like that i like that a lot Kathy. hi susan yeah, Carolyn, the, the switches, to me, that's that's a, that's a like a no-brainer. Why would you want all four of them turning if you're only doing one cup? But, I've seen people do that in videos. Yes. You know, they to turn one on, you have to turn the whole ten other turners on. Like you said, that's a total waste. And the ones that I make um, are the kind that you can... Uh, flip the switch a couple of times and it'll go in reverse. That's my dream. So, um, you know, you might have to do it three or four times, but yeah, it will go in reverse. So, that's not a problem there. While we're doing bling as some stuff, I just wanted to show y'all a couple of things. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I got to be cleaning stuff mm -hmm. out here on the table. She got the cleanest pair for a mother I've seen in my life. Um, she didn't see it the other day, did she? <laughs> hmm. Blingasm has ribbon. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. And I apologize, I forgot how many different colors he said he had. It's oh. a bunch. And they're in six different sizes. Uh, this is a, it's called a Halloween color pack. And this one is the da, 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 Organza. And it's very shiny. It's a very, very shiny ribbon. Okay. And then this one is 
this one's origami origami i i apologize how do you say that rosanna origami yes okay origami and it's also six halloween colors 25 yards uh it comes in 25 yards satin or 50 yards origami rolls you can choose your width and like I said, he's got this in six different sizes, all of them. I am going to be doing some tutorials on um, the wreaths that I make that are super, super easy. We're going to use this in bows and in the wreaths. So I'll be showing y'all more of the ribbon to come. And let me tell y'all, he's got the bling. That's my favorite. He got some bling bling here. That is awesome. Um, this is a huge roll. And I'm sorry, but I don't know how many yards are on this. But it's big. It's a lot. This will last a long, long time. Also, he has this kind. We can make us some necklace out of them things, girl. I, this is a flat back rhinestone. You can use these on cups, y'all. And that's what I'm gonna do it with it. Flush with this. Yeah, yeah, so it will sit right on a cup. And I'm going to use, I, I haven't decided yet which ones I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna go with the pearls or some of these other ones that I'm gonna show you. This is a larger pearl flat back rhinestone. So it depends on what size you wanna use, okay? Then he has them in the bags. Can, that, can mm -hmm. I see that? Um, this is, there's a thousand wow. pearl white 0.5 mm. That's the size. They shine really nice. These are going to look gorgeous on a cup. So I'm just going to show y'all real quick because I know y'all don't. Y'all getting ready to go. This is another one. There's a thousand pieces in this as well. And it's just a different shine, a different finish. This one I oh. absolutely love. I'm thinking this is the one I'm going to go with my breast cancer cup because it's a, a light pink. It's going to match perfect for that. This one is the diamond look. All of these are flat back rhinestones. They have a whole line of this stuff, y'all, and tons of stuff. Uh, he has like, I can't tell you. Y'all just gotta go look. I, there's no way I can tell you everything. He also has the hot fix rhinestones yes. so that if you do the um, the shirts with the, the uh, heat pressed rhinestones, he has tons and tons of different size of rhinestones for you to order for the uh, hot fix uh, for your t-shirts. Amazing, amazing amounts. All right, Carolyn says she's coming to the she shed with carry out bags, two carry out bags and a cardboard box. Come on. No, she ain't, she's gonna have to take leftovers cause it's going with me. <laughs> I, I'm here first. Sorry, Carolyn. All right, y'all, look at this. If you put these, this color, and I'm um, trying to see. This is a metallic AB. It's a thousand pieces to a bag, so I apologize. I don't know the, the exact name of them, but these would look awesome with this FC321. Mm -hmm. That would be gorgeous. Okay, then there's this glue. Rosanna can tell you about this stuff. It's called triple threat glue. And it's called triple threat for a reason. When I told y'all several, several months back to order this glue, I said it for a reason. This is that glue that Kathy was talking about earlier that you can use it on shoes, uh, shirts, hats, wood, everything. Once you use this glue and even with these rhinestones once that glue has uh, dried with this that's it 
you have been triple threatened then. It's not coming off. It is not budging. That glue right there is truly, truly amazing. And now he does have this in the four ounce size. Um, that's on the Blingasm website. And then just real quick, some of the colors. I love, love, love this wine color. Dr. Pepper. And yes, it is. Dr. Pass mm -hmm. perfect for Dr. Dr. Pepper. I showed that before. Oh, yeah. This Dr. Pepper color. Now, this is B0407. If you want to do a Dr. Pepper cup, that's it. I didn't even think about yes. that. And I have a pink color here that is beautiful. This is a creamy pink color. If y'all want to know any of the numbers or anything, you can certainly, um, I'll be glad to tell you. Yeah, these are these are your two different cuts. This is the uh, the I can't see it. This is the uh, 08, and that's the 15. Okay, this is the 15 size, y'all, and this is the 08. So it's the same color. Well, different colors, but no, two it different, is different yes. colors. Yeah, but different cut size. Yep, I got you now. Okay. Yes, I got it. See how you can tell this is more. Um, uh, finer than this. Yeah. This is the 15. That's the. Uh, yep. I see that. And that's what I was fixing to show y'all with the FC 321. It's in two different, um, two different sizes. Mm -hmm. This is what we used on our cup today. That's this the is the larger. Mm -hmm. This is the 15. And this is the 08. Right? Mm -hmm. Got yeah. it. Okay. This is the white that I was telling y'all about. It's beautiful. And like I said, white's a hard color to work with. This is the white. And it has a beautiful shine to it. And it is B0100A. All right. It's white, yes. It's beautiful. I love this color. <laughs> love this color. This is like deep sea green, I think it's called beautiful. I have the gold. I have a black. And I, I apologize, y'all. I'm trying to get you where you can go. And the black is also another. It's like a white. It's hard to find a true black yes. that will stay black under epoxy. And there's not added uh, shifting colors to this black. It's just like the white. What it's just black? pure black. And that's it. Nothing in there to throw off that color. This black stays black. It's very black. Yes. Well, now she's All trying right. to throw stuff at me. I guess Rosanna wanted that. All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down now. Um, I know we've been on here for a while. That's we've had great. a lot of fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it as well. We learned how to do a new technique, a good cause, autism awareness. And look at her. I love her already. My friend. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks for joining us, and we will be back in a day or two. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.